Hey folks, uh, you'll see why I split this into two lessons uh, from this lesson here. It would have been just a really full lesson. So anyway, so um, this is Volume of Prisms and Cylinders, Module 21.1, Part 2. Okay, so same essential question. How do, how do the formulas for volume of a prism and cylinder relate to our area formulas that we discovered before? Okay, so, all right, so volume of prisms and cylinders. Okay, so... Here's uh, section A. So remember this picture in our last uh, lesson. So if one gallon of water uh, equals um, uh, 0.134 feet cubed, what is the volume of water in gallons? Okay, in the shark tank. Okay, so what we want is a gallon answer, not a feet answer. Okay, so from yesterday's lesson, Here's the volume in feet, okay? So what we need to do is get rid of the feet and convert it to um, gallons because it says, uh, what, uh, what is the volume of water in gallons, okay? And so one gallon equals this. So what we're gonna do is use our conversion right there. Since one gallon equals 0.134 feet cubed, okay? Now we can either do 1.43 feet cubed over one gallon, or we can do one gallon over 1.134 uh, feet cubed. Notice we want the feet to cancel so we're in terms of gallons so so I put the one gallon on top and the 0 0.134 feet cubed on the bottom so the feet cubes will, will cancel and then we can just go ahead and multiply and then divide by the 0.134 so we get about approximately equal to 429,851 gallons that would be the volume right there okay all right, so um, uh, that's the volume in gallons. Okay, so now we're going to use the conversion factor. One gallon is about uh, 0.833 pounds uh, to estimate the weight of the water of the shark tank. Okay, so we want it in terms of pounds. So we want, we uh, let's go backwards here. We want these gallons to go away and convert it to pounds. So I'm going to put the 0.833 on top and the gallon on bottom. That way, uh, the gallons will cancel right here and will be in terms of pounds, which is the weight. Okay, so all we got to do now is multiply this number times this number. And when we do that, we get about 3,580,657 pounds. Okay, now I just used the decimal conversion that was still in my calculator from section A. So if we, if we, uh, and that's what gave me this right here. But if we used um, uh, this number above right here, this number right here, if we use that number multiplied by 0.833, we'd get um, the 659 pounds instead of the 657 pounds, okay? So it's called round off error. And so actually this answer is more accurate because I had uh, the, the decimal conversion, which was more accurate. The more decimals you have, the more accurate you are. So this one's more accurate, but in either case, you guys, they're both close to 3.6 million pounds of water right there, okay? All right, so find the volume of each. Okay, so here we have this figure, and it says uh, one of these, the volume is 8 cubic units. So we just got to count up how many there are. So I count 11 of these. So if we count 11, it's 11 times 8, or 88 cubic units. Don't forget the cubic units part, you guys. I know your teachers want you to not forget that, and if you're in my class, I'll ding you some points if you if you forget that, okay? Not a bunch, you guys, but just uh, it's real common students forget. Because area, you guys, when we get into surface area, that's um, uh, that's uh, feet squared. Anything with area is feet squared. Anything with volume is feet cubed or meters cubed or inches cubed or anything units cubed. Okay, all right, so find the volume of this guy right here. Each cube has side of 2K, so we got to find the volume of one of these. So it's 2K cubed, you guys. Remember, a cube is just uh, the side cubed. Okay, so 2 cubed is 8 and then k cubed. So each cube is 8k cubed. So there's 5 here plus 4. I count 9 cubed. So we multiply that by 9 and we get 72k cubed cubic units. Okay. All right. So here uh, the height of the oblique cylinder is 3 times its radius. Find the volume. Okay. So we know the base already. So the volume is base times height. We just got to figure out the height. So let's use this base which is 81 pi and then uh, our area formula for a circle is pi r squared, so I'm getting um, uh, my radius to be 9. Okay, so now let's go up here. The height of the oblique cylinder is 3 times the radius. 
So the height is going to be 3 times 9, or 27 right there, okay? All right, so there's the height right there. So now the volume is um, the area of the base times the height. So we're just going to multiply 81 pi times the 27 right there, and we're going to get uh, 2,187 pi. Don't forget the pi. Don't forget the cube, or centimeters cubed, okay? Approximately equal to, I just multiplied that by 3.14, and I got that uh, decimal conversion right there. Which one's more accurate? Well, the one with the pi is actually the most accurate right there. That's the exact answer, okay? All right, find the volume of each composite figure, okay? So here we have this oblique cylinder on top of this cube right here. All right, so uh, we get to figure out the figure, this cube right here. What's the length of this side right here? Well, if the if the radius is five, then the diameter of this guy is going to be ten right there. Okay, so the base of the cylinder is pi r squared, so pi times five squared is twenty-five pi. So, so that's the base of the cylinder right there. All right, and then the cube has side of uh, that's the equal to the diameter, which is ten feet right there. So the cube is ten cubed, which is a thousand feet cubed. Okay, so let's get the cylinder, the height of the cylinder. Okay, all right. So if this is ten, then that means this is ten right here. So if I take ten off of this twenty-two, that'll tell me that the height of the cylinder from here all the way up to here is the rest of that twenty-two or twelve. Take off that ten right there. So the volume of the cylinder is base times height, and so pi r squared, which is 25 pi, times uh, the height is 12, and we got the 12 from that. So the volume of the cylinder is 300 pi, the volume of the cube is 1,000 feet cubed, so we add those together right there, and we get about uh, 1,942.5 feet cubed, okay? All right, so how about this one? So we want to find the the uh, the volume of when we drill out this uh, little cylinder right here. Okay, so it's going to be the cube minus the cylinder right there. Okay, all right. So the cube is five times five times five, and the cylinder is pi r squared times the uh, times the height right there. Okay, so pi r squared. Uh, times that height right there. Where did I get 7 from right there? I don't know where I got 7. It should be a 5 right there. So probably made an error right there. So I'll let you guys check that. But that should be a 5 right there. I don't have a calculator in front of me. Okay. So pi r squared times this height. Well, this height is 5 right there. So this should be a 5. Uh, sorry. Um, oops, my numbers is not locked. Okay, so there it is right there. And so that's going to change this answer. So let's see, 4 times 5 is 20. So this is going to be 20 pi. And then whatever this is. So sorry about that, you guys. I made a slight error right there. Okay. All right, so here a cake has a cylinder with diameter of 10 inches and height of 3 inches. For a party, a coin has been mixed into the batter, ooh, a dirty old coin, and baked inside the cake. So the person who gets the coin um, uh, uh, wins a prize. Oh boy, dirty old coin. So find the volume of the cake and round to the nearest uh, tenth. Okay, so it's a cylinder, so base times height, and the diameter is 10, so the radius is 5, so pi r squared times the height of 3, so uh, pi times um, uh, r squared times the height, okay, so if we plug all that in, 25 pi times 3 is 75 pi, that's the volume of the cake, okay, so cake gets a piece of the cake that is a right rectangular prism, which is 3 by 1 on the base right there, okay? And remember, it's 3 feet high right there, so what's the probability that uh, her coin is in that, in that piece right there, okay? Whoops. Uh, so that's approximately equal to 235.6. We'll need that for part 2 right here. Okay, so let's find the volume of her piece. So length times width times height. So uh, 3 times 1 times this 3 right here gives us... Um, where am I getting 8 from? Golly. Uh, maybe I'm getting these from the textbook right there. But that's 9 right there. Okay, so anyway, sorry about this, you guys. So, so probability is favorable divided by total. Okay, so the favorable is we're hoping it's in this piece right here divided by the total. Ah, see, I have the 9 there, so I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, um, if you're in my class, you see me doing this all the time. 
And does your math teacher make mistakes? I uh, probably might do all the time. So, anyways, I get about uh, when I punch that in the calculator about 0 .04 right there. Okay. All right, you guys. If you are in my class, that's going to be your assignment right there. Take care.